more. To ditch something. I won't waste your time. Come here, please. I'll talk to you.
coordinate these Clintox attack. I better speak to whoever's in charge. Be fascinating if they weren't looking for me.
Forget about traveling light. Done. I can't kill anyone else.
day. Machines or bandits try to get past me. They'll have a fight. Mark my words. Season things grow worse. The machines grow bolder. Whatever the I've sent a messenger to the claim to let everyone know. If there's anything you or your clan need for her arrangements, you need but ask. There'll be time for all of that later. I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about Ursa. To learn she lives, then lose that hope, seems cruel. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Duval. The name was Ayland Forgeman. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Yes, a landlord. The Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. Let me think. It's by the edge of the Mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Aaron, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious! Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. <clears throat> Aloy, a moment, please. When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? We can't worry about that now. All that matters is that we catch her killer before he strikes again. How much like her you sound. You are correct, of course. Find Durval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes.
Everyone needs a splash of color in their life. Come, let's talk it over. I see someone. Able-bodied adventurers! Oi there, Outlander! Name's Vilgund. Did you come to the city looking for work? Oh, good shards. Enough to buy garb more becoming of your- Okay, stop there, if you want me to hear you out. I, I only meant uh, a well-molded woman such as you. Uh, <clears throat> I heard an interesting rumor about a Banuke camp. Tame machines, the rumor said. So I, uh, I hired men to investigate. To, just investigate, that's all. Uh, those Banook are canny. Too canny. I paid up front. Well, uh, half up front. I I've had no word back. So now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. <laughs> They're a sunk cost. This rumor's worth more to me. So is there any more to the rumor about this camp? <laughs> The last bunch just wanted to know about the reward. Hey, you're a smart one. This camp isn't even big enough for a name up where the snow won't thaw. They say the Banuk there live alongside machines. Peaceful as you like. Keep them, use them, sing to them. If it's true, if we learn how they do it, think how valuable that would be to all the tribes. When you say valuable, you mean they'd pay you for it? Girl, I'm not made of straw. If I did look into your rumor... You won't need to climb up the shoulders of the world for it. It's on the edge of Banuke land, beneath the anvil of the moon. And you look like you know your way around the savage east. Uh, um, the east. If it's true they walk among the sheep, you can't miss that, can you? Payment on return. This is the place. You home, Durval? I got a surprise for you. for us. Is it a bomb? Doesn't look too big. Big enough to kill us. All right. I'll shut up. Blaze. It must be leaking from something upstairs. If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. That's a lot of blaze. If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Durval promised. Smoke will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. There's, there's gotta be a way to stop it. It looks like a wooden bracket, not very strong. Help me push this out. Okay. Brute force. I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is gonna get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. Ugh.
We did it! Durval's best shot, the Meridian's still standing. This is the number. Durval said he'd make a Vod watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. Now that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Durval's men left something behind when they come back on. I got it. Don't worry. If he tries for the palace, he's finished. Road tracks, with just a bit of blaze in them. Call the guards! Get to the explosions elsewhere! Hurry up! Share. Get to the fire and shut up a bucket line! It cost you a shard just to look. What happened? I haven't heard a blast like that since the liberation. A moment of your time, Outlander? There's smoke rising from the edge of the mesa. Are we under attack? The tracks lead inside. Another one of Durval's hideouts. Be where Durval assembled the detonator. <sighs> he tunneled through the wall. Durval did find a way into the palace. Someone's got to guard the rear. Someone better guard the old rear. Never know when I might need these. of my right to kill your father, so I'll have to settle for you. I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian Avad. Breathe in the stench and choke on the ashes. Something's wrong. It didn't... I, I didn't hear anything! There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. No! It should be a firestorm, not some belt from a charcoal burner!
Gonna come in handy. What's this? Oh. You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. What's that? Ah! We finish this. I've got a sun god to kill. Why does a god always have his ladies do the fighting? I've led an army, killed kestrels and ravagers as savage. I've led an army, killed kestrels and ravagers, a savage is nothing. Why does a bard always have a lady in the fight? Frost always said, patience. <laughs> and we... Ah! Kestrels and ravagers, a savage is nothing. Why does a bard always have his ladies do the fighting? I've led an army, killed kestrels and ravagers, a savage is nothing. Can we finish this? I've got a sun god to kill. Why does a Vard always have his lady? I've led an army, killed kestrels and ravagers. A savage is nothing. Can we finish this? I've got a sun god to kill. I've led an army, killed kestrels and ravagers. A savage is nothing. Why does a god always have his ladies do the fighting? Can we finish this? I've got a sun god to kill. It's not over yet, Nora. Any good Osaram Tinker will tell you. Always have a third plan. Murderous Glint Hawks!
I hope you like fighting these things, because there's more in the way. Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you. these things, because there's more in the way! <laughs> Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you! Those majestic, murderous glint hawks! Hold on. Ah, those majestic, murderous glint hawks! to do it for you. if you can get a machine to do it for you. these things, because there's more in the way! I hope you like fighting these things, because there's more in the way!
As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Eren, you'll screw it up! I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. Aloy, to say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. What exactly will happen to Derval? For now, he'll languish in one of the old cells under the Sunring here in Meridian. As for what happens after we negotiate his expedition to Mainspring, I don't want to think about it. My father was very creative when it came to inflicting suffering. But some Asaram devices surpass even his imaginings. Durval is a brilliant man. I wonder what he would have accomplished if it weren't for my father's cruelty. Why do you want me to stay in Meridian? Well, I would think that would be obvious. Not to me. Huh. Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You were strong, shrewd, and, and capable. I could use someone like you at my side. It might be worth taking a moment to examine what you just said. You just lost Ursa. A woman who stood at your side and could easily be described as strong, shrewd, and capable. It's pretty clear how you felt about her. And now you're asking me to take her place. Is this a job offer or a proposition? By the sun, you do indeed share much with Ursa. Including a withering eye for foolishness. Ah. Please, accept my apologies. Seems I'm getting ahead of myself. I need some time to resolve my feelings. I will be forever grateful to you, Aloy. And in time, I'd like to get to know you better. Shall we leave it at that, then? It's time for me to go. Of course. I hope you find what you're after, Aloy. 
And if need be, I will come to your aid. As sure as the sun's rising. Aloy, I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. I gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do. Right? <laughs> you're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. Yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Durval. Yeah, don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. So, after all this, what's next for errand vanguardsmen? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and we'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean less chit chat, more drinking. Well. I know, you gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master, all before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. And now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Try not to forget about me while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Two? Huh. <laughs> she likes me. <laughs>